All right. Hello, everyone. How are you? It's K. So uh, this is the 18th of May, 2022. And this is on Wednesday. So. All right. Good to see you, everyone. Thank you for joining on the live today. So, uh, yeah, sorry, I wasn't able to do live for the last three days because I had some technical issues. I wasn't able to connect YouTube to the streaming software. So I had to figure out how to do it. And also some other uh, minor problems. But now everything, everything's resolved and I can do live. And also the markets were uh, kind of quiet for the last two days anyways. And today is also a bit quiet, but uh, we will check some charts, forex pairs in some of the markets and just see what's happening right now. So let's check char charts together. All right, so let me switch the screen right now. All right, so uh, as usual, as a quick disclaimer, uh, this content is uh, basically uh, based on my own experience knowledge. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. And also, since this is live, if you can please follow the rules and guidelines, that would be great. And also recently, there are so many fake accounts of mine using my name and creating some fake accounts. So please be careful on the social media. I have no Telegram, no Instagram, no Facebook, no direct messages on SMS social media so please be careful everyone okay so yeah feel like i haven't been doing a live forever like uh, it was only three days i wasn't able to do on sunday monday and yesterday tuesday so uh finally i resolved the issue and i can do live but uh yeah feel like i had me away from the live streams forever so i feel kind of fresh today but uh, yeah sorry about the uh, inconvenience i hope you had a nice weekend a nice monday and tuesday okay so let me say hi to everyone quickly all right so rush good to see you and asif thank you for joining homan Thomas, mk nicolas vice and tess thank you for joining great to see you and Amanda, Richard, also good to see you. Thank you for joining as well. Augustine, Oscar, Suleiman. All right, so Rush, good to see you again. Thank you for joining. And TikTok, Alexander also, good to see you. Yeah, I was having an amazing day. Yes, I had. I had. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, okay, okay. And David, George, Kush, and Vish, and Mahesh. Saron, Camillus, and Basam, and everybody else, thank you for joining today. Okay, so um, let's check some Forex pairs first. So let me switch to trading view. Okay, so well, basically, the markets are retracing right now. So all I have to say is to stay away until we see next big trends but we can do some analysis right now even if even if it's range we can uh look at some pairs and which one most likely has the big trend soon so here is euro usd i have screened the daily time frame and daily time frame all the pairs are flat so in this case i look at the weekly time frame let's check the weekly and see which one is trending as per euro usd prices below tenkan kijun sen kumo chikou span below candles so in terms of momentum it's bearish but as for direction it's flat range and we have engulfing candle this is called the inside bar so uh when you see inside bar like this it might range for a couple more weeks or it might retrace back to Tenkan Kijun Sen. So I would say that Euro USD has no downtrend anymore, according to Ichimoku. So I will stay away. So let's check some other charts. 
Euro Pound is also have a, we have Doji right now forming and very close to Kumo. It's about to go into Kumo now. And Kijun Sen flat. We had the gold cross Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen below the Kumo. Chikou span touching. So it's range. So I will stay away from this one too. And let's see. I will check one by one for now. So next one is Euro AUD. Um, Euro AUD uh, touched the Kijun Sen previously. And uh, right now there's a Doji. So it might go down. Because after the market touches Kijun Sen and resist it, then it may go down this way. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, if it goes down this way continuously, then I prepare to sell. But if it goes up, then I don't think I will take a trade. That's Euro AUD. All right, thank you for joining everybody. Great to see you. I see people keep coming right now. Thank you for joining. All right. Eugene and Ronald, Bag, Ola, John On, Indal, JYS, Yar, Blair, and Mark Winter. Thank you for joining. As well, Bala and Tamas, Nathapon. Good to see you too. Okay, so uh, next one Euro JPY. Oops, sorry. Hold on. Let me try to fit this page so that you can see the whole window. I'm sorry. Just a moment. Okay, this is good. All right, so we have uh, now Euro JPY. Okay, so Euro JPY, it's retracing backwards this week, and it was almost touched the Kijun Sen, and now Tenkan Sen is bullish, and Senko Span A is also bullish, Chiko Span above candles, so in the short term it's bullish. Uh, but Kijun Sen flat, so it may go down back to Kijun Sen still. So in this case, we can't tell which way it's going. So yeah, no trend on Euro JPY. And the next one is Euro CAD. Tamas, you're welcome. Thanks for letting me know about the window size. So here is Euro CAD. Um, let me cancel the lines. Yeah, EuroCAD is, uh, this one is still downtrending. We have um, this uh, Kumo has been downtrending nicely. This is not too thin. Kumo has been long and stable downtrend. So it means the market is stably bearish. And um, Kijun Sen is flat, but Tenkan Sen is down. And Chikou Span below candles. So in this case, we can still say that this is bearish. It may break support. So we have one pair EuroCAD. It may break the support level of 1.3380. <clears throat> so we can monitor EuroCAD this week. Okay, so like this, I will select the pairs that are either trending or about to trend in the weekly basis. The next one is Euro 6 rank. Euro 6 rank is now range. Um, last week was Doji. Uh, this week is bullish, but it's engulfing inside bar. So, no chance. Kumo flat. Uh, Chikou span touching also. So, we can't tell which way it's going. And next one is, uh, let's see, USDJPY. Uh, USDJPY is retracing back to Kijun Sen looks like. So if the market breaks 127.55 support, then um, it can go back to Kijun Sen. So you can just wait for the breakout and prepare to sell either this week or next week. So USJPY would also be a good one to monitor. Or if it breaks bullish resistance 131.31, then it may go up continuously. So right now we have to stay away, but uh, the market will break towards either direction. And once it happens, we can come back and get ready to trade. So that's the USDJPY. 
And the next one, USCC AD. This one is complete range, very close to resistance. We had a big pin bar last week, so it might be reversing backwards to Kijun Sen. But even so, the momentum is very weak, so we can't really trade on this one. Next one is USC Sisran. Um, USC Sisran is too bullish. We have Kumo up, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, both bullish, and Chikou span above candles. So this one is bullish. We can continuously look for the buying edge. Yeah, so like this, even if you have some retracement or pullbacks or range, we can still select which one to monitor at least. Next one is Pound USD. Um, pound USD, if you look at the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen, let me take out these lines so that you can see these uh, lines more clear. So uh, Kijun Sen is now flat. Tenkan Sen is also flat. So it may retrace back to Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen is my view. And w once the market starts to retrace, then the targets will be either Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen. Tenkan Sen is 1.27, hold on, 1.27. Um, two seven level, and weekly Kijun Sen is one point two nine five five, or the round number, exact number of one point three, will be the target. So looks like it's retracing backwards. So we can uh, prepare to buy if I start to see bullishness in the lower time frames. So I will mark this one also pound USD. And the next one is Pound JPY. Okay, so Pound JPY is, uh, has retraced back to Kijun Sen already. It touched the Kijun Sen already, so we can't tell which way it's going. It may go up or down, we can't really tell, so we have to simply stay away, is my view. Um, in terms of Ichimoku, it's range, but as for price action, this is too bullish. Because there was a previous resistance level here at 158.14, uh, 15 area. There was a two reverse, two resistances. And this time it was supported. So it may go up, is my view. But as for Ichimoku, this is range. So even if I have this upper row, it may take time. It may take one week, two weeks, or one month for the market to go up afterwards so uh in that case in that sense it's not really worth the trade but i prefer for example pound usd because pound usd you see distance in between the price to kijun sen tenkan sen so at least there are some rooms to trade if that if it's a if it was a um, tenkan sen then we have room of 300 pips to trade and if it's Kijun Sen then we have more than 500 pips to trade so this is tradable if it goes up but pound JPY since the market has touched the Kijun Sen already this is no trend so prefer not to be in the market but let's say if we were watching chart three weeks back like around here three weeks three weeks back then you see uh tenkan sen kijun sen both flat so we were able to discuss where to sell and target to kijun sen tenkan sen in that case we had the room to trade uh, for tenkan sen more than 300 pips for kijun sen more than 400 pips we had the room to trade so very much similar thing is happening on pound USD, so it may be traced back to Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen is my view. So, but not the pound JPY in my opinion. So I will just skip this one and move on to the next one, which is pound CAD. All right, yeah, pound CAD. Uh, now Kijun Sen is flat, but Tenkan Sen is down. So for me, this is still bearish. 
So I will just mark this one also before I forget. High on CAD, I'm expecting the market breaks the support. This, this is weekly time frame, but as for the weekly time frame, Kumo Senko Span A is down. Kumo itself has been downtrending nicely, so it means stable downtrend in the long term. And uh, also, Kijun Sen is flat, but the Tenkan Sen is down. Chikou Span below candles, so it may break the support. But if Kijun, sorry, if Tenkan Sen becomes flat, then it might reverse backwards. So in that case, we have to be careful. And also, as for pound CAD, if you look at the daily chart, we have descending P wave, descending triangle. Um, let me switch down to the daily time frame. So here's a daily time frame. You see the lows are at the same level, 1.5781. And but the highs are getting down. So this is called descending P wave. P wave is a Ichimoku way to say it's a triangle range because when you add, if you add one line vertical like this, it becomes the shape of the P, the little P. So this is called a P wave. And uh, when you see descending P wave, descending is like the highs are lower lows at the same level this is descending p wave and in this case there are more sellers and buyers simply speaking so sooner or later i think the market breaks support so right now it's range so today is not a good time to sell but uh i'm waiting for the selling edge in this one and can it may happen this week so um i will keep Keep uh, yeah, my own. Keep my eyes on this one. Okay, so uh, let's move on to the next one, which is uh, pound AUD. All right, so pound AUD. Let's check the weekly time frame. Okay, weekly time frame is uh, yeah, this is flat. Yeah, market is flat. Kumo is down, so long term still bearish, but uh, Kijun Sen is flat, so I'm expecting the market retraces back to Kijun Sen. But um, for that to happen, we have to wait for the breakout of the previous resistance, which is 1.7854. Yeah, when it breaks, then uh, it can go up to the weekly Kijun Sen. And in that case, we have a potential pips of yeah more than 300 pips to trade. And the reason why I would wait for the resistance break 1.7854 is because of the candlestick. This is called the inside bar. Inside is, there was a big candlestick. And this high and low of this big candlestick has been including two future candles. So this is called inside bar, engulfing inside bar. So I'm waiting for the breakout of the inside and then target to the Kijun Sen. Because uh, if it doesn't break, then it may be range of more weeks or months. So we have to be exactly where to buy in this case, which is a breakout. So that's pound AUD, but most likely the breakout will happen today, so I don't mark this one. Uh, and let's go to next one, pound Cisfran. Yeah, pound Cisfran has been ranging the whole time, so no chance. I will just simply stay away. And next one is AUD USD. Um, okay, AUD USD, um, both Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen flat, Chikou Span is about to touch candles, Kumo flat, so my expectation is retrace back to Tenkan Kijun Sen. So I will put the arrow like this way, it might retrace backwards. I will change the color to red. Okay, so uh, that's. 
my view, it may be traced back to Kijun Sen of that. Wrong, let me see. Yeah, I will just, uh, I want to make it a bit thicker now. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so if the market breaks uh, resistance of of uh, 0 0.7068, then target is going to be on uh, 0 0.7244. Yeah, but again, this one also most likely it won't happen, so I will simply stay away. And next one is AUDCAD. Yeah, so AUDCAD is. Uh, yeah, this one is off range, but the market was very close to support. So it may be traced back to Kijun Sen. Yeah, so this one also, Kijun Sen becomes target 0 0.9211. So if you start to see bullishness, then that will be a good buying edge. But if the market breaks support 0 0.8907, then I will look for the sell chance. So it's either up or down on this one. But we can't tell which is going right now. Yeah, okay. So next one is AUDJPY. AUDJPY had retraced back to the Kijun Sen. You see the touch last week on uh, 87.24. And it looks like it's range. It's range now. So, no chance, I will simply skip. And AUDC run has been ranging for more than months, maybe two months or so. So, no chance. CADJPY, this is still bullish. Because um, Tenkan Sen is still bullish. Kijun Sen flat, but Tenkan Sen is bullish. And Kumo itself has been bullish. Chikou span above candles. So we have some doji candles. This week has been doji so far, but it may touch and bounce on the on the Tenkan Sen and goes up this way is my view. But if the market breaks the Tenkan Sen, then it can go down to the Kijun Sen. So that's um, that's the uh, CADJPY. But most likely, the next trend can happen maybe next month or so. I think it will take time. So I'm not going to mark for today's analysis for this one. And the CADC run is, uh, it, this is bullish now on the weekly. So we have bullishness. Kumo is up. Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen are up. And Chikou Span above candles. So we can continuously Look for the buying edge on CADC's run. However, one thing is the Kumo. Kumo in this case is a bit too thin, so it may reverse. And when it reverses, it goes very fast. When you see the thin Kumo like this. So, yeah, we have to be careful for the retracement. But still, this is bullish in the long term. So we can build some positions and keep holding in the long term. But just be careful for the retracement. Is the CAD CISRAN. And last one is CISRAN JPY. CISRAN JPY also had uh, moved back to the Kijun Sen. And then today, uh, this week is bullish. But uh, yeah, simply I wait for the breakout of 130.83. The previous high and then prepare to buy I think that's what I will do so that was my Forex analysis but looks like so looks like to wrap up uh, Euro CAD is about to break support so we can still monitor and uh, prepare to sell when it happens and USDJPY is uh, it may break resistance 131.31 and goes up. If it happens, we can follow the new uptrend. But if it breaks 
127.55, which is this inside bar break, then it can go down to the weekly Kijun Sen. So until either is happen, we have to stay away. And the USCC's run is uh, this is now bullish, so we can still continuously look for the buy chance. And pound USD is um, yeah, it's retracing backwards. It's retracing back to Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen on the weekly. So these price levels are going to be the targets. And pound CAD is uh, still downtrending, still bearish in a short term. And in the daily chart, we have descending P wave. So I'm waiting for the P wave break. Or before the P wave break, I'm looking for the selling edge. And then last one is CAD Swiss run. It's too bullish, so I prepare to buy. But if the market breaks the support 0 0.7723, then I will prepare to sell and target to the daily Kijun Sen also. So these were some of the analysis of the Forex pairs. All right, so. Yeah, thank you for joining everybody. Great to see you. Yeah, it's been a while since I wasn't able to do live for the last three days. So, but now the issues has been resolved. So I can do live now. Yeah, thank you for joining everybody. Great to see you here. Okay, Homan says, uh, DRK, when you speak in buy breakout or weekly resistance, in which lower time frame we shall check this breakout the breakout if we see the break if we are waiting for the break on the weekly then it has to be based on the weekly so like this this is we have the support based on the daily time frame so in this case i wait for the daily break daily close below 1.5781 and then prepare to sell you know, you can't trust the break of the five minute or the lower time frame because it may fake and the market may reverse within the day. So my recommendation is to wait for the break on the daily chart, daily time frame. Yeah, or the weekly time frame. But weekly time frame breakout, if you wait for that, it might be too late. By the time you confirm the close, the market has been all the way after the breakout. And you might miss a chance. So, yeah, my recommendation is to wait for the break in the daily time frame. Okay, 416 says, uh, USCCAD, I saw inverse head and shoulders in one hour. Okay, USCCAD was this one. Okay, so first, in the daily chart, it's retracing back to the Kijun Sen, about to touch. And in one hour, inverse head and shoulders. So, okay, this one is range for me. It's range. There's no inverse head and shoulders right now. Because the, but this is more of the P wave for me. The lows are higher and highs are lower. So it's P wave. And we'll wait for the P wave break towards either direction. Um, oh, maybe you saw this as inverse head and shoulders. But uh, for this to happen, it has to have the neckline break. Neckline is around this area, I would say 1.2852. If the market breaks that level, bullish, then you can say that it was inverse Head and shoulders. But if the breakout doesn't happen, then it will be range the whole time. So whenever you see head and shoulders or double top, double bottom confirmations, make sure to wait for the neckline break. Otherwise, you won't see that form. It may be fake. But this is for the P wave. So I would wait for the P wave breakout bullish. If it happens, then it may break. Resistance is my view.
but in one hour the market will be going into the Kumo so it may be very spiky in the lower time frames yeah 416 you're welcome yeah so that's the one hour USCCAD so but I think uh, the market may retrace back to Kijun Sen in the daily chart which is here 1.2767 yeah and we have a room to trade about if you sell around here then uh, that will be 70 pips or so so it's not really big pips but we can still take sell if you wait for the p wave break and sell then uh, that will be let's see if you sell around here that will be only 40 pips or 30 pips maybe so uh, yeah it may not really worth to trade but that's uscca dpr okay leon says um uh key oh, key k to follow trending market i have seen you're using daily plus one hour four hour plus one hour time frames but i never seen you take daily plus 30 minute time frame is it right uh i do take i still do take daily plus 30 maybe it's because you don't you we didn't see that example yeah but i take daily plus 30 minute also for confirmation okay mk says uh mr k i have a question can i use ichimoku in lower time frames one hour two hours um yeah you can use ichimoku in one hour i never tried two hours i only use one hour and four hour in the daily and 30 but um yeah i know one hour ichimoku works but uh, i'm not sure if it works in two hour time frame or not you can maybe test and uh, see if it's valid or not okay quiet storm says abdcad what is your analysis abdcad is range so better to stay away yeah so we have Kumo down, Kijun Sen down, Tenkan Sen down, but uh, the, the market retracing backwards. It actually broke the Doji also. Two little Dojis has been broken bullish. So, yeah, still, this is retracing. It may touch the Tenkan Sen and then go down this way. So, in the long term, it's bearish, but uh, today is not a good time to trade. Okay, Ayan says, uh, is Ichimoku suitable to, for trading gold? Yes, it is. I was, I use Ichimoku to, to, to trade gold also. So it's valid. Yep. Yeah, gold has been gradually going down right now. So, um, yeah, we still see some potential selling edge. Um, yeah, because weekly... Touch the go, touch the kumo now, and the daily chart also uh, is going down. We have this uh, kumo down, kijun sen flat, but tenkan sen is pointing down. So in the short to long term, it's bearish, and chikou span below candles too. So this is bearish still. Yeah, but if the market breaks the Tenkan Sen, then it may retrace back to Kijun Sen. One, uh, Kijun Sen will be 1892.91. But I don't think that will happen soon. I think this is still bearish in my eyes. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you for joining, everybody. Great to see you. Okay, Euro USD. Euro USD, I think it was flat range. Um, 
yeah, let's see. Yeah, Euro is USD uh, retracing. So, oh, it broke the Tenkan Sen actually. So, target would be the um, daily Kijun Sen. Looks like it's retracing back to Kijun Sen 1.0641 level. Yeah. But as a day to swing trader, this is range, so I will simply stay away. Yeah, let me check one hour. Um, in one hour, it's retracing backwards. There is a bearish in wave. So it's down, it's bearish. Yeah, <clears throat> you can wait for the support level breakout. If you are an intraday trader, uh, run enough. If you are the intraday trader, then you can wait for the break of 1.0493 and take sell or wait for the breakout of the Kumo and take sell is a view and target to the one hour support which was uh, 1.0389 that will be my view all right Okay, uh, Cybron says, do you usually enter the trade with a stop loss, a stop order in 5 or 15 minutes? And do you re-enter a trade after you've manually exited? Yes, I do. Yes, I do both. I set the stop loss order based on 5 minute or 15 minute time frames. And then I will re-enter after exit with some loss. If the trend, if the market is still trending, then I will add, I will re-enter the market. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see. So coming back to the daily time frame. So let me select a pair, a good pair to trade right now if I were to trade let me see well it looks like all the markets are retracing so it may not really good yeah probably C CAD6 run looks good because once it breaks 0 0.7723 then um, it may go down all the way to the daily Kijun Sen so we have engulfing inside bar right now and as for one hour, sorry, as one hour, it's about to break. About to break the support of precisely on 0 0.7720. So, yeah, and also there was a reverse previous resistance, what becomes supports. So, yeah, once it breaks, it can go down this way continuously. So, CADC front looks good. And this one also, this this one was um, head and shoulders, and 0 0.7720 uh, is a neckline. So if it breaks, the market can go down to the daily Kijun Sen. I think this is a good pair to trade. CAD is run in one hour time frame. As for Ichimoku, Kumo is down. Kumo Senko Span A is down. So once the market breaks the support, then uh, Senko Span B will be down, A will be continue to be down, Jun Sen will point down, Chikol Span comes below candles. So we also see the bearish momentum. So in that reason also, the breakout of the support is a good timing to prepare to sell. All right. Uh, yeah, good to see you. Thanks for joining, everyone. Johnny K says, uh, Mr. K, if daily chart is up and four hours down, which time frame shall we follow? Um, in that case, most likely um, there is a huge retracement in the four hour. But if daily is bullish, then I follow the daily time frame. I always follow higher time frame uh, directions mm. because if daily is bullish in 4 hours down 
then if daily is still bullish, then 4 hour may turn bullish afterwards. Or 1 hour may turn bullish afterwards, then I prepare to buy. But if daily is up and 4 hours down, in that case, I don't trade. But uh, I wait until 4 hour turns bullish to buy. Is my answer. Or uh, if 4 hours down and daily is up, and if 4 hour keeps going down, then daily will become range, retrace, and then I follow the 4 hour downtrend. Yeah, but if daily is up and 4 hours down, then I will completely stay away. Because most likely markets retracing backwards very sharply, and it will be very tricky. Okay, Joe Allen says, uh, what do you think about trading pound USD? USD. All right, GBP USD. Um, let's see. I have a mark here. So, as for the daily chart, yeah, this one is retracing back to Kijun Sen. So, uh, yeah, it may still go up. But as for today, this is not really good because it's retracing. It's it's downtrending today. We have bear candle. Uh, let's check one hour. Okay, in one hour we have a range breakout bearish. So we have to have at least bullish in the wave from here, and then buy bullish in the wave. Kijun Sen break to buy, but it may be weak. It may retrace in that case, so maybe not. Uh, if we have any wave bullish, supported by this single span A, still goes up this way, and then we have to have the Chikou span above candles, like this, Chikou span above candles, and then buy afterwards. Yeah, buy will be here on the price. So that's one of the scenarios, or simply wait for the resistance break. Resistance break of a 1.2500 and then look for the buying edge. I think this is the best timing to buy. But we have, I think, lots of pips to that room. Yeah, about like uh, 94 pips up. So uh, it may not happen today. But it may happen sometime this week. So... I think that will be a good buying edge. All right, Stefano says, what about crude oil things? Yeah, WTI, I haven't checked it today. Let me see. Okay, weekly chart starting always from the higher time frame. So weekly is now range. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, so it's range. Uh, not really trending in the daily chart this is now bullish yeah in terms of the wave analysis we have this uh consecutive bullish in the waves so it's up up trending since 11th of april and it's about to break the resistance of 116.69 yeah if it breaks that will be a buy and target to the all-time high. And by the time the price breaks the level, breaks the 116.69, then Kumo will turn bullish. We know Kumo Senko Span B will turn bullish. Senko Span A also will turn bullish. Kijun Sen will be bullish and out of the Kumo. And Tenkan Sen also will be bullish out of the Kumo. And then Chikou Span above the resistance, so that will be a great buy chance. Yeah. Otherwise, it may retrace back to Kumo at any time. So I don't recommend to buy right now. But I think breakout and buy will be the great option. Okay, Pranav, you're welcome. Alright, Kenchu says, Hi K, did you ever try using 
the Ichimoku setup 1, 2, 3 breakout on small time frame when the mid and big time frame is same trend. Um, step 1, 2, 3 breakout. Oh, you mean Sanyaku Koten, Yakuten signals? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I don't use Ichimoku in the lower time frames. Like 5 or 15, I don't do that because it's, it gives some fake signals. So I don't use it. I used to use Ichimoku, part of the Ichimoku strategies, like, yeah, that, like a Kumo breakout or um, Sanyaku signals, Sanyaku Koten, Gyakuten signals, and Chikou Span break. But I don't use them anymore because uh, they are a bit lagging in signals. So I don't use these. All right, Camilla says, uh, Hi, Kaysen. What is your opinion on current inflation that affect many countries, especially USA, UK, Europe, and Asia? How it will affect Forex market? Um, I'm not sure is my idea. I'm not sure. Simply, I follow the market trend directions. Whenever the, there's a trend, I follow. When it stops, I, I stay away. And that's it. So I don't really expect which way the market goes. Simply, whichever the market goes, I follow. When it stops, I stop also. So that is my mindset. Yeah, I do read news and I do refer to these you know, websites, news websites, and also analysis about what's happening in the world. But uh, yeah, I don't really care so much in terms of trading. Yeah, in Forex, the market just goes up and down every month, every week. So simply I follow. So like this week for the last three days has been ranging like this. So when it ranges like this, simply I stay away. But it doesn't mean that I stop monitoring. I still monitor every day. At least three times I do. But what I mean by stay away is that I don't trade. Yeah. But the reason why I monitor every day is to catch up what's happening in the markets and we never know when the next big trend happens. Uh, even if for the last three days has been range retracing quiet, we may see big trends tomorrow or we may see big trends tonight and we never know when it happens. So we have to get ready to capture the next big wave whenever it happens. In that purpose, we have to monitor every day. Uh, yeah, but we we don't know when it happens is a key. Okay, yeah, thanks for joining everybody. Great to see you. Nice to see your comments, as always. Leon says, I really want to say thank you because everything you uh, dedication for our community. I hope you and your family always full of all, uh, health, health and happy. Oh, thank you for the comment. Yeah, same to you, same to everyone. I hope everybody becomes happy and also healthy. Yeah, because we are here to enjoy our life. We are not here to stress by trading. Yeah, we are here to enjoy our life and that's why, um, yeah, we have to learn. We have to learn how to trade. Okay, Leon says, after I follow your channel, I had change from losing trader to break even trader and I'm happy about that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I think that's a big change. You know, from, from, from being a losing trader to being break even trader, that's a big, big change. Yeah. Because um, when you keep losing, it's like, you know, the, it's like darkness. You know, you're actually wa walking on the street darkness. Because you might see on the next step might be the big hole and you might fall. So when you keep losing, it's like that. I was actually feeling like that too. When I was not winning for a couple months. Even if I took so many trades per day, um, I wasn't winning the trades when I was uh, become full-time trader. That was my stress. But uh, yeah, that was like complete darkness. 
But if after I become a break-even trader, like no matter how many trades I take, I was break-even. And that's a big change. That's a very happy feeling for me. Although I wasn't making profits, I was break-even with so many trades. And then afterwards, I start to win trades over time. So if you are becoming from the losing to break-even trader, then I would say you are in the right step. Yeah, but I think that is difficult. Difficult to change from losing to break-even trader. Yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you for joining. Johnny K, you're welcome too. Okay, so yeah, let me see. JY says CADC is from broke support one hour. Okay, let me see. CADC is from broke support in one hour. Um, yeah, it's about to break. Yeah, so here we have to wait for the close of one hour candle. Yeah, and it looks like it hasn't closed yet. It was breaking, but now it trades backwards. So we have to wait for another 8 minutes and 36 seconds to see if the market closes below the support. If it does, then uh, we can start to look for the selling edge. Yeah, so make sure you never jump into this potential breakout. You have to see close, confirm that the market closes below the support, confirm the breakout, and then prepare to sell on the next candlestick. Alright, Gustavo, thank you for joining. You see here. Alexander says, um, Sensei, is there a reason for you uh, to wait until October to try with the stock market. Um, uh, no, there is no like a uh, reason to wait until October. If if the market start to be active again in September, I might be trading stocks. But for now, for me, I prefer to trade forex. Um, yeah, because stock markets are still struggling right now, as far as I see. So. I might start October, I might start next year, but uh, for me, at least right now, I prefer to focus in Forex pairs to trade. Yeah, we'll see when the market becomes stable and active. All right, Camilos and Tamas, you're welcome. Okay, so yeah, it's about to break. It's breaking. The, in this case, I say it's breaking. I don't say it broke. Yeah, it's breaking the support. Okay. John says, please, if there is no trends on the daily and four hour time frames, can I follow the one hour time frame and look for opportunities on the five minute time frame? Yeah, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can follow one hour. But if you follow one hour, one hour can retrace backwards very soon. So watch out on the retracement. But technically, you can still trade. So here, we have to wait for another six minutes for this to close. This is where we have to be patient to wait for the close. I used to sell when I see the breakout like this before confirming the close and it closes like this. I've I've had that before. It closes like this and on the next one or two hours it goes up this way. So yeah, let's wait for another uh, 5 and 20 5 minutes and 20 seconds. Okay, Chuck Davis says, uh, Hi K, can you tell us about a bit of your history? Did you pay for your three Tokyo properties using 
profit from trading since you are rich before you mastered trading. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. So while waiting for the candle close, I think that will be a good topic to talk about. So yeah, for me, um, I've had the three properties in Tokyo in the Bay Area by the by the ocean Tokyo. It was a nice view. On the 35th floor, 30 some floor, I forgot already. But I had three properties on the, in the apartment, tall apartment, like a like a 60, 60 floors high. I had three properties in that building, in that uh, apartment. And I sold them. Uh, I actually uh, I bought these not because of not from the profits of trades. I've had another business and I bought these properties through the other business. It was way before I started trading. Yeah. And then I started trading and sold the properties and came to Dubai. Because if I still had the property, then I get still taxed in Japan. So I had to sell all the properties. I had to cancel all the insurance and everything. And then came to Dubai. So back then I was doing some online business. I was managing the online, online ads, online like websites. I was creating these affiliate, affiliate websites. It was which which was big in Japan at that time, and uh, I was doing that business, and then bought these three properties. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. I think, uh, yeah, it's still not closing. In about three minutes, we'll wait. So let's come back to this chart, CADC's run. In the meantime, let me check some other ones. I think there was a, some other interesting market which was about to break towards either direction. Let's see, EuroCAD still, still downtrending but still range. USJPY is, yeah, still in a range, still inside bar. And the USCC front is still bullish. Kijun Sen up, come up, still bullish. But uh, it may retrace back to Kijun Sen if it breaks the support. And pound USD is retracing back to Kijun Sen. But wait for the resistance break, 1.2500 break. And pound CAD is, yeah, this is descending P wave and wait for the selling edge. Uh, on pound CAD, let me check the one hour. Okay, in one hour chart, this is, yeah, th there was a double top neckline break and then about to about half reverse in wave. So when we have reverse in wave, that would be a great sell chance. So wait for 1.5891 to sell, to prepare to sell. And let me check the 30 minute chart. Um, I think 30 looks good to follow in this case, because um, when 30 minute chart breaks a support, then um, it will, there will be Kumo down, Kumo Senko Span B will turn bearish because of the breakout of the support. For the last 52 candles in the past. And then Senko Span A will turn bearish because Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen will be down. Because again, with this support breakout for the last 29 and 9 candles for this. And then um, Chikol Span will come below the support. So I think the breakout will be a great chance to sell and follow 30 minute trend down to. Here, the daily Kijun Sen. 1.57A1 will be the target in this case. Yeah. So we can wait for that to happen. 
Let's see. Let me check the five just in case. In the five minute, this is called a Y wave. So, yeah, it may be tricky. It may go up and down spike. And by the way, we have no big news for today. So, uh, simply we can monitor the charts by the price actions and also the Ichimoku King Kohyo. Okay, so looks like it just closed. So let me come back to CADC's run. And check one hour time frame. Okay, so it was almost closed, but not quite. So in this case, I would wait for this forming candlestick closes below the support and prepare to sell. Yeah. Yeah, and since it hasn't closed at the support, it may go up also. It may go up. So we have to continuously monitor and uh, get, get ready to capture exact entry edge. All right, John says, uh, is it always that when you see opportunity in the five minute band walking, you have to wait for the end wave in formation or retracing before you enter no i don't usually wait for the end wave or retracement whenever i have the confirmations and i just take a trade yeah even if it's i wave i take a trade even if it's v wave i take trades also i don't always have to wait for the end wave or retracement okay so i guess uh that's it for today's live it's been about one hour so far so uh yeah let me wrap up okay so oh you know today dubai has deep fog the fog's very deep and i can i can feel a bit humidity uh even if i'm inside i can still feel some humidity but it looks like the temperature is going up and we are going into the summertime. So, uh, yeah, so anyways, I think uh, the markets are quiet. So this is where we have to be patient, you know. Um, so let's say in, in this kind of case, even if we see like one or two pairs trending, uh, I don't feel positive to trade because it may be traced backwards soon if other pairs are range because markets are not really active so buyers may not follow sellers may not follow as usual and it may change direction it may range also so when i see these almost all the markets range i simply prefer to stay away and uh do my own things so you know remember do not lose is a key to success. And this is where people tend to lose when the market retracing or, um, you know, reversing backwards range. Uh, if it happens for three days or four days, then uh, people start to, you know, feel like trading and uh, they get in and the market goes backwards and they get out and you may have losses. So, yeah, please be careful. So uh, make sure non-losing mindset is a key to success, as I said here. So uh, yeah, hopefully I will see you next time. And until then, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.